Hi, uh, so welcome to Mel's Kitchen and today we are going to talk about sourdough starter for sourdough bread. Um, this is a ready to use sourdough culture which um, I've added flour and water to um, and which has been left out at room temperature for about six to eight hours and this is really ready to uh, ferment now add to my uh, bread flour um, with water um, and this will rise the bread raise the bread and we'll have a really nice uh, sourdough loaf um, the culture itself I've had for two years so I've had this for two years and it's you just feed it it's like a pet so every week I'll take some out to start this for making bread and the rest of it I just add flour plain um, bread flour and water and then you just put it back in the fridge and it just keeps fermenting it keeps uh, this wild yeast culture which we've made uh, just just lives and grows and we can carry on some uh, Polish and German uh, bakers have got hundred year old cultures which they've been developing for such a long time and they just get better and better uh, so to make this is, is, is fairly easy but it is hit and miss sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't uh, because sometimes bacteria destroy the yeast um, so every flour this is a rye flour to start it off with. Every flour contains wild yeast. And what we're doing now is we're trying to um, develop this wild yeast culture um, from scratch. So we start off with um, rye flour, um, organic, and mineral water. Okay, to start off with you need mineral water. It doesn't have any fluorine and all the additives that you get in tap water. Later on, once we've start this, this culture, it becomes more stable, we can use tap water. So to start off is equal quantity, so there's 100 grams of flour and 100 grams of water. Um, and we just mix this up to like a paste. And it's basically... I'm just going to leave this for seven to ten days at room temperature and an ideal place is sort of like on top of a fridge um, that's a good place for it so that's all you do it's as simple as that and then in seven to ten days time uh, one sec in seven to ten days time hopefully this culture uh, will have started to bubble so you look for bubbles in seven to ten days time and then what we'll do is we will add some bread flour and some more water and leave it again to ferment again for a three four five days however it takes and eventually um, with a bit of time and patience we'll end up with a really nice active alive you see all the bubbles bubbles in here there's loads of bubbles this is really ready to ready to do its job so this I'll just cover seven to ten days and we'll have a look at it okay it's been five days and I've been checking it every day and I noticed it started to um, come into action this morning there's a lemony aroma from it and there's bubbles coming up so next stage is two uh, spoons of white organic flour. I'm using spelt flour, you can use white bread flour. And then we're going to add approximately two spoons of bottled water. Mix this in again and check it tomorrow. And this is really well on the way to becoming my sourdough culture now. So we're switching over from rye flour to bread flour and eventually the colour of this will lighten up a little bit. Um, and I'm pretty confident that this is going to work. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you get spoilage bacteria gets into there and it goes mouldy or it has an unpleasant aromas. But I think this, this one's worked. You just have to persevere. So I'm going to cover this, leave it for two days and show you again afterwards. So it's uh, 24 hours later 
and as you can see we've got a really active starter dough you can see those um, see the activation in there those air bubbles so this is ready I'm just going to um, take out two spoons into uh, another bowl and that, th these two spoons that I've taken out are going to be for activating uh, a sourdough starter for bread this is going to be stored in the fridge for next time so I'm going to add two spoons of flour to this That. I'm going to add some mineral water but from now on you can use tap water with this because this is active it's quite stable I can see that so this is good um, so it's taken seven days in total and we've got an active sourdough starter which we can keep for as long as we like we just have to feed it So I'm just going to transfer that into this little glass jar and then I can store that in the fridge and take out some when I need it to make bread in the future. So I hope you'll give this a try because the bread this makes has so much flavour a really nice texture and um, it's worth it's worth the effort so let us know how you get on